if I could ask everyone to please close your eyes. And in your current state, I want you to imagine how you will tomorrow pick out what you're going to wear. Then I want you to imagine how you're going to tie your shoes, how you're going to navigate around to where you need to be tomorrow. And still in your current state right now, I want you to take out your smartphones and text a friend. By the way, if anyone can do this, I will give you $20. <laughs> the world is a sighted place. There's no doubt. I came to this realization probably the first time when I was probably 11. And I was afraid to do all the things all the other kids in the neighborhood were doing. These are things that every kid probably does. Ride a bike, go to the corner store to get candy, explore their neighborhood, play basketball, whatever sport. And it really prevented me from being a kid. So I just kind of felt isolated. All that changed, though, because at the same age of 11, it's funny how things happen when they do, this guy came to my elementary school and said, I can introduce to you something that you already can do, but you probably just don't know that you can do it. I can teach you to use sound to navigate everything around you, just like a sighted person can. Now, to an elementary school 11-year-old, you know, whatever, get out of class and run around, sure, that sounds good to me. So he took us outside and set up all these plexiglass walls and taught me this thing called echolocation. And echolocation is simply what bats do and what submarines do. It's basically using sound to detect an object, to know that it's there, and to navigate it or to maneuver it or to otherwise understand the purpose of why that object is where it is spatially. I will say that the whole echolocation uh, philosophy wasn't really what changed my life. It, it added to it. But the concept of this whole no-limits philosophy, which is what World Access for the Blind represents, uh, which is the organization that I'm here uh, talking about today, about echolocation, the no-limits philosophy actually changed my life up until now, and it'll continue to change my life. I am a commissioned officer of the United States Air Force Auxiliary. I have rappelled out of a helicopter. I am the first mission-rated communications officer that went through the same Air Force training that uh, every other commissioned Air Force officer has to go through for a mission rating. This whole concept of simply being able to navigate my environment, to have a no-limits philosophy, has actually changed everything that I do. If you could play the video, please. It's like if you guys can see with your eyes and we um, can see with our ears. I think that the sky is, is the limit and I think that within the foreseeable future, we will be looking at the human perceptual system and blindness in particular very, very differently. We won't be asking the question, what can blind people not see? We will be asking the question, how much can blind people really see? Sing it out, boy, you've got to see what tomorrow brings. Sing it out, girl, you've got to be what tomorrow needs. Okay, I got something very solid here. Very solid here? Okay, um, tall or short? Tall, taller than me. My name is Hector Elias. I am 17 years old. I am losing my vision. I am expected to go blind.
obstacle course here that I'm gonna do today is not just pulls. It is a goal. And the bigger the goal, the more obstacles you'll face. And on the other side of that goal is victory. It's not a matter of enjoying it more or less, it's about enjoying it differently. You know, it's, it, it's enjoying it through, like, through different vision, through another lens. So if we had to talk about thriving for me, I would say that there are two major things. The first thing uh, is learn echolocation if you want to do that. It saves a lot of electricity money. I, my electric bill is really little. <laughs> Navigate in the dark, it's no big deal. But the second thing more really is to discover within you the gift that I was taught at 11 by discovering an inner power, inner strength, a superhero power that all of you have. The trick is you just have to find what it is and use that to thrive. Thanks for your time.